Hello and welcome to this tutorial in how to save your progress in a text-based adventure game. So the first thing I'm going to do is import a library of code here which will allow me to check if a file already exists. Now you might think why would I want to do that? Well the point is simple if you've never played the game before there won't be a save file yet created so you need to account for the very first time somebody plays your game. So what we can do is we can use this little bit of code here to check whether this file already exists and if it does it will store the value of true here. If it doesn't exist it will hold the value of false. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is create a function to actually load a text file. So we check if it exists. If that is true it will go ahead and open the um, text file in read mode which is R it will read in the file into a variable that I've called room and then close the file. Now if the file already exists um, we will end up with the room variable holding the value of the last room you were in before you finished the game. So it will take you to that point and it will do that by passing over the value held in the room variable. So you know maybe it's second room, maybe it's start room, depending on where you finished off in the game and it will send that to the room chooser function which is down here. So what room chooser does, it basically receives the um, parameter room and then it checks what's inside it. So if it's equal to the start room, it sends you to the start room. However, if it's equal to second room, it will send you to the second room. And as you get more um, rooms in your adventure, you'd have to extend this out with more if statements. Um, so that will do the functionality of starting us in the correct place. Now, obviously, if you've never played the game before, you want to be able to start in the very first room in your game. So what we do here is we've got an else statement to say, basically, if this is false, no one's ever played the game before, there's no file yet, set the value of the room variable to start room, which is your first room. Pass it over to room chooser, catches the value, and it will set you to the first game in your adventure. Fairly straightforward, okay? Um, Next what we do in each of our rooms in the game that we create, so here's my first room in my game, I set the variable s to be the same as you know the name of the room basically, so s is equal to start room and then I save it. So saving it I'm calling the um, function that I've made called save, it passes the parameter of s over to the um, function save and in this case holding start room, so that gets caught up here and then it opens up the file in um, write mode. Now if you don't already have a file and it's the first time you've played the game, opening up in write mode will actually create the file. So that gets over that potential issue. It then writes the value of s into the file and it closes the file. So now you've saved the progress by going into the room. What you then do is you carry on playing the game and say you go right, you go to the second room. So here's where we jump over there. We come to the second room, we then again write the value of second room into the file. So because we've used W, we'll overwrite whatever we had in there before. It'll basically delete all the contents and overwrite it with second room. So basically, if you ended the game here, you would then next time you played the game, you would start off here in the kitchen rather than in the hallway. So using W is good in this case because it overwrites the file and will end up either with second room or start room written into the file. So you always restart the adventure in the correct place, which is basically what we want to achieve here. Now obviously this code can be extensively um, extended. This is just a simple proof of concept. So you can have multiple rooms, you can, you know, obviously um, put this two lines of code in each room so you can save your progress and then basically whenever you you know restart your game you'll actually start in the correct place. You can also change the code around a bit so for example you only save at certain points it might be you only want to save progress at certain points within the game um, you know you've passed a certain marker you've got halfway through so you can again only save at certain points and you can also give the player the choice to save as well. So you can say, you know, would you like to save progress? Yes, um, you know, S equals the name of the room you're in, save S, and it will save the progress at that point. And then if they close it down and go off and do something else, they can return to it later and start playing the game from that point. Okay, hope you enjoyed that tutorial today, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.